Recovery is huge. Then you've got the cognitive end that you discuss and that most I've experienced this. I didn't know until I got involved in this industry that the vast majority of accidents are from mental fatigue. You, you yeah. just, you're tired. You're just, you know, that saying in athletics is fatigue makes cowards of us all. And so uh, it does. And you stop thinking and, and you get dehydrated, which causes a lack of blood flow, which causes a lack of oxygen circulating through your system. And it's, uh, it's bad news. It's so what we're finding is there is a culture shift happening. Um, there are some that are spearheading it like you guys, mm -hmm. uh, but with be present, be focused, be safe. What does that mean? You know, as it relates to safety, uh, we heard this last week from one of our customers and it was the two minute drill and we we're going to start coining it because it's before you, it's like your task hazard analysis or your job hazard analysis that you guys probably do. Whenever you get to a job, you're going to check and see what your surroundings are. What are my hazards? What are my risks? This kind of stuff. Well, now there's companies that are taking that into personal health. Recovery is incredibly important. You can only work as hard as you recover. On the weekend, you you got you guys can only play as hard as you recover, and then you got to come back to work Monday. So, the whole concept of working athlete is that most products are designed for 18 to 20 year old kids who play games. You guys are in the game of life. You're climbing poles. You're going shifts, long shifts in the heat. There's no showers right next door. There's no trainers waiting to run out and give you some fluid. This is serious, serious stuff. And of course, as you age, you have the complication of, of your body starting to fall apart naturally. So all the more reason to take it to a higher level product-wise and educationally 